Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's have a look over a new temperature sensor that will be TCN 75A and let's go to the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got here and as I pull my screen for the sensor it's a temperature sensor with plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius accuracy and as you notice we have a lot of features which are mentioned on this screen also and also you can purchase the sensor from this very side well I am gonna interface the temperature sensor TCN 75A with a BeagleBone Black and the software platform I'm using will be C language code and let's go to the source tab and we can have the C code sample onto your screen and you can also download the code from this very site as a zip file right from here and also you can get the code from github.com and the repository there will be control everything community now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up together and let's proceed well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an i2c shield for the bigger bone black now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other i2c devices so for that what do we require is to gently place this i2c shield over the bigger bone black and make a connection just like that for the power up setup we require two things the first is a mini usb cable just like this and gently insert it over here it is very useful to power up the bigger one black now to power up the i2c shield we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here now for an option for the internet connection there are two mediums the first is an ethernet cable or a lan cable and the second is this a wireless nano usb adapter this here is our temperature sensor TCN 75A and this here connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the brown wire of the cable and similarly to the ground of I2C sheet. As we are done with connection setup, now let's have a look over the code and let's proceed. Now for the interfacing part, uh, we have to log in to github.com and after that we need to set up and explore that will be the repository that will be control everything community and after that let's have a look over the sensor that will be TCN 75A and here comes the C code but before that let's have a look over the instructions part which clearly says that we need to set up the BeagleBone Black and the steps to install the setup are on BeagleBone.org uh, let me show you the website and as you can see a lot of steps need to be taken for the setup procedure please do it carefully and after that we need to download or get pull the code on the BeagleBone Black and we need to compile the code and this is the command to compile and this is to run the C code it will be used later on in the working part please note them down and we have the C code and it says that .c extension and we have some of the libraries included as you notice in the code and we have in the void main function we have to check whether the i2c bus is going to open or not and we have the address of the sensor that will be defined as 0x48 now coming to the writing section part we have to select control register 0x01 and we are going to set uh, first of all we are going to send a command that will set 12 bit ADC resolution that is 0x60 and here is the writing command and then we have a sleep function for one second after that we have a read function which will read two bytes of the data from the register 0x00 after that we have a conversion of the data and we have used a formula which was mentioned in the data sheet for TCN 75A at the end of our code we have the output data onto the screen which is temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales so this is how the code is now let's have a look over how it works let's move to the working area and for that part first of all we need to copy the entire code as you can see and we need to move to the terminal connected for the BeagleBone Black and here we have to see we have to create a new file that is tcn75a.c will be the extension of the file and here we need to paste the entire code and after that we need to save it now for the compilation process as you can notice uh, this is the command uh, here we go and this is the full command for the reference and let's see what we got here in the compilation step and it's done good now for the building uh, part this is the command we need to follow and let's see what we got here 
we have the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now when I again run the command, we have the same or almost same temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. But instead when I try to place my finger over the sensor and run the command, we can literally see uh, that we have a temperature change and it's on to the visible and it's for the change in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now you can run the command, we have some changes which you are able to see and it's reflected onto the screen in front of you. Now this is how the sensor responds. Now this is the way of the sensor. Now let's have a look over some of the applications and benefits. Let's have it. The DCN 75A product comes with user programmable registers that provide flexibility for temperature sensing applications. The register setting allow user selectable 0.5 degree Celsius to 0.065 degree Celsius temperature measurement resolution. Configuration of the power saving shutdown and one shot modes and the specification of both temperature alert output and hysteresis limit. The sensor has an industry standard 2 wire I2C compatible serial interface allowing up to 8 devices to be controlled in a single serial bus. These features make the sensor ideal for low cost, sophisticated multi-zone temperature monitoring applications and personal computer and servers, hard disk drives and other PC peripherals, office equipment, data communication equipment and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.